Hi, I want to tell you how to get into Coursera courses for free if you want to audit a course. Um, this is allowed by Coursera and it's relatively easy to do if you know what you're doing, but sometimes it's a little tricky. So let me take you through that. You go to Coursera, C-O-U-R-S-E-R-A, Coursera dot org and you sign up and you use an email address. Now you can join for free and you could use a Gmail address or any email address you want. Uh, you just put in your name and your email. I've signed up as Dr. Ted Mook uh, at gmail.com and then you put in some password that uh, you will use to log into your course and this will set up your Coursera account. So you now have a free course on Coursera. Uh, that seems reasonably straightforward. Um, you can then look at courses and see, well, let's see, I don't have any inactive courses. I don't have any active courses. I do have a recently viewed course because um, on this computer, we've looked at some courses before. So I'll go to a course that I'm the instructor for, Protecting Business Innovations via Copyright, and I can see this course, and I can see all about it, and I can see how to enroll. And so I click on Enroll for a course, and I have two choices. I can pay $49 and get a certificate. And that allows you to take quizzes and do projects and get grades and feedback, or I can take it for free. I can take the full course with no certificate. Now, you'll still be able to finish the course materials. You'll still be able to watch the lectures. You'll still get the knowledge, but you won't get any credential or any certificate, but it's free. So now I click continue. Now, sometimes you might look at this and say, okay, but I don't have a course to click on. And so I'm not sure how to get to the course. And that can become a problem. And that's where I've seen people become uh, frustrated because you don't have anything yet in my Coursera and so you start to look under courses what you want to do is explore courses or use a search and search for a course about something like if I want to learn about fintech I'll explore courses about fintech and I'll find a course that is FinTech and Transformation and Financial Services. That's actually the wrong course. You should be looking for UST courses, but uh, that's HKUST, my university. But that's okay. And so you, you could look at this course and go down and say, I want to enroll. Now here, they're saying, wait a minute, you can start with a free trial. Don't do that. Don't start with a free trial. Now, I'm sorry if I upset somebody in Coursera, but the free trial is going to charge you money really soon and they're going to want your credit card. You don't want that. You want audit the course. And so if you click audit the course, which is the little button down there, now you're in the course for free. That's what you want. You want to audit the course. Now, I don't mind if you pay. That's a good thing. I just want you to know that you have a choice. You have an option to take it for free. So this is how you can sign up for free, is you have to search for a course name. You don't want to sign up for a free trial. You don't want to sign up for seven days free or anything like that. You don't want to give them your credit card until you're really serious about a course and you want to get a certificate. Then you can pay money to get that credential or that verification that you've learned something. Until then, audit for free, and you can even convert then to a paying customer after you start as a free customer. Thank you.